I guess you... I just hit the record button. I did also. We're we're live okay. in front of an entire studio audience. Uh, oh, no. Hey there, everybody! Welcome to Thoughts on a performed live in front of this studio audience. In what's it always the studio in Nickelodeon? In Los Angeles, probably. I think it's uh, Orlando. Orlando, Santa Florida. Monica. Orlando, Florida. Thank you. Woo. That in that sound you heard was not a sound effect. It was the actual audience we got in front of us. Uh, oh, there's so got... And Sam hopped in the audience for some reason. All right, get back here. We need you on the couch. You gotta. All right, he's just staying. Man, over what there. a bad bit to start off on. Yeah. Welcome not to strong. Thoughts Sauna, everyone. Welcome to not. I forgot if I said it. Welcome to Thoughts on It. This is a podcast where we talk about odd laws, weird dreams, and interesting thoughts. I'm Brett Jimmy Jimmy Hanrahan. Because that's what I feel inside. I <laughs> hate that you said that because I'm Sam Chip Skylark Risley. Whew. And I've been planning on saying that since we listened to that fucking song and you, you had to fucking do it. I, I went I went in first, Sam. I stole your Damn, thing. mine's off topic now. <laughs> well? My name is Cyan the Bank Got It Wrong Shaskins. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Shaskins! <laughs> oh, God! Cyan... So, let me, let me go ahead and explain. Please. My... my <laughs> So for everyone, my middle initial is S, and I just got my new uh, debit card in the mail, and they combine that with my last name. So my new last name on my debit card and on my bank account is Shaskins. Congratulations so, to all of us here. This is the life that I uh, am gonna live. You gotta change your social security per- number now. You are a new person. I am a new person. This. When when Cyan told us about that, it was such a big day in my life, uh, and I I was just so happy. Um, so welcome welcome Cyan Shaskins, welcome Chip Skylark. Uh, it's a it's a really star studded cast we have today. It sure is Jimmy Neutron time. That's my name. Oh, Thank Jimmy, you. Jimmy, fast and turn. Here we go. <laughs> I could. I don't know where I've heard that from. It's in some song. So uh, let's got... go. Let's go ahead and get my shit out of the way. Oh yeah. Because Jesus Christ, I woke up at like 10 a.m. and I started grinding. I was looking for a dream all fucking day. Uh, and you know what? I had to settle on one, and it's not good. But whatever. <laughs> That's well, a, that's a great way to start off the podcast. It's a very yeah, great. Wait. Well, let me let me go ahead and preface it with the journey I went on. Okay. I I, I looked through so many websites, right? Mm-hmm. So many Reddit, so many fucking BuzzFeed articles, and most of the dreams were like either like scary or creepy, or like a dream that didn't actually happen. You know, one of those dreams that's like clearly made up. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Like where they're like, oh, and then. Uh, fucking Morgan Freeman showed up and said, don't talk to Nicolas Cage and all this stuff. And it's like, that didn't happen. And then the Redditors gave me all the Reddit gold. Yeah. Yeah. And they like list off every celebrity name. And they're like, and then I was on a game show. Like, no, you weren't. Shut up. But, um, let me tell you the tale of when I got so desperate that I went to, uh, a Minecraft forum that came on page three of Google. What? <laughs> yeah. You so, got your dream from a Minecraft forum? I didn't, but let me tell you about this oh. where I was. <laughs> okay. So I was like, man, I ran out of websites. I guess the off topic tab in this Minecraft forum is where I'll have to be, you know? So I clicked on it and I went there. Every single person on this forum, the topic was what's the strangest dream you've had? All of them, I read like seven of them, had heavy influence from My Little Pony. Oh, no. Huh. But I, at the same time, on a Minecraft forum, I'm not shocked. I'm not either, but I was like, God fucking damn it, if I can find one that isn't littered with ponies. <laughs> God well, damn it. Why are you discriminating against the pony dreams? Because huh? they weren't good. It was like, 
Rainbow Dash came to my house and then gave me a cupcake and then Pinkie Pie and I had sex. Yeah. And I don't want to uh, fucking uh, read about that um, on the t- podcast. Yikes. Yeah. So without further ado, here yeah, is this. Yeah, we don't want to read that on our kids-oriented podcast. Fucking well, hell. None of that shit. This is airing on Nickelodeon. Watch your language, Sam. Orlando, Florida. Uh, it's... Watch your profanity. Damn, it, my phone really is a hot mess and it, was, it will not let me view the dream. Good thing it's not super a dream. But I feel like it can spark some conversation. So in this dream, it's very simple. This dude had a dream that he sat there and he screamed, I'm lucid dreaming! But he wasn't? Like, it wasn't a lucid dream? He just dreamt that he was doing that? Okay. And that's the entire dream. Oh. Yeah. All so, right. <clears throat> what you're saying, he was having a dream where yeah. he thought he was lucid dreaming, but not really. And so he got up and screamed... I'm lucid dreaming. No. He just had a dream where he was screaming that. But... It was a regular dream. It wasn't lucid at all. He had no control. That's just what he did. So he he was just screaming, I'm lucid dreaming throughout the dream? Yeah. Well, that that was basically the dream, but he wasn't lucid dreaming. It was... He just had a dream that he was saying that. Right, right. That's what I... I I get that. That is a... Just... Mind boggler. I, there was, there well, was a time in all our lives where we, we tried were to very into lucid dreaming. Hell yeah. And we were I all. I never really tried it, actually. Really? I've done it twice. Yeah, I just was never particularly interested in it. Mostly Damn. because I just don't dream. Well. You don't remember your dream. Yeah, I know. I, I don't okay. remember them. Either way, it's useless to me. Well, it, my it is, nights are black voids that last what feels like several seconds, but are actually multiple hours. And then I wake up and go, I'm not dead. That's good. <laughs> win win that for is, me. That is sleeping for me. Jesus, Damn. Sam. Well, well, if you get into the practice of lucid dreaming, you'll have more dreams. You'll be able to re- remember them more. You know, you keep, keep a journal and stuff. I'd rather not. Damn. Right. Okay. But. Uh, I, I think... Like, just for fear of what my subconscious creates, after, like, all these years of me forgetting the stuff it's tried to show me, what happens when it finally gets through to me? The Pringles dream, basically. Yeah. Yeah. The, yeah, exactly. The Pringles dream is the only one that comes through, and I'm sure that one's mild and tame compared to, like... Sam. Other shit. Yeah. Samuel, if you figure out how to lucid dream, and the Pringles dream came in, you activate that lucidity... You have the power to figure the fuck out what that means. We got the power to be loving each other no, no matter, matter what happens. Yeah, but I mean, if you have a lucid dream, you control what happens. That's the whole thing about the lucid dream is you like you're in the dream and you're sentient it and you're like, oh. So what am I gonna do? Eat the Pringles instead of let let them show me numbers? Just ask that could them. be a start. You could ask them like, um, what are the Pringles for? What's in the weird basement? The what Pringles was that are body? clearly the focus for the arcane powers. Yeah. You know okay. how wizards have like wands and shit? Clearly that's what the Pringles are. Yeah, it was to focus your magical medium on. Exactly. Man, I couldn't imagine living without dreams. Man, I I hardly remember my dreams, but when I do, I'm like, ah, that's cool. You know, the thing is, like, if you have to practice getting into lucid dreaming, you can't just lucid dream, like, right off the bat. If I was having a lucid dream, I, the first thing I do would not be screaming, I have a lucid dream! Yeah. I, I, I've done it, I've done it once when I was in like middle school. That was when I was super into trying to figure it out. It was like eighth grade. If, uh-huh. and if for, I had a lucid dream, oh, go ahead. But I was just saying for like months I would try and then it happened and I had no fucking clue what to do. <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh, uh, uh, I guess I'll fly or something. I don't know. Yeah. If I, I had just, a lucid dream. This did shit. I would, it would be Pokemon, just Pokemon everywhere. Oh, dude. That would be sick. Did I? Okay. I had, (laughs) oh, I had a dream as a kid. I was so infuriated. I had a dream that like, well, well, wait, 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 wait a second. Should we save this for another episode, Sam? No, 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 no. it's It's fine. This is all right. 
Because it's like it's not. It, I'm sure it's a dream everyone's like had. It's not like super crazy or anything. It was just I had a dream that Pokemon were real, and All right. in that dream, I had a Trico because he at the time he was my favorite Pokemon. Yeah, Poliwrath is now my favorite and he ha- he will always remain that way. Trico, you're close let, second. I love let you the still. record show that Sam's favorite Pokemon is in fact Polly Wrath. There you- yeah. I can I can yeah. never so remember if it's Polly Wag line. or Polly Whirl. I love Poly-Rath. that ho- I love that ho- I love Polly Polly Wag, Polly Whirl, Polly Wrath, Polly Toad. I love them all. Anyways. So I had the dream that I had a Trico and we were best friends and I woke up and that's and why you I don't want to dream anymore. Pissed. I was so mad. I woke up and I was like, because like in the dream it ended with me going to bed. So I woke up and was like, all right, oh. another fun filled day with Trico. And then I was like, where's Trico? Oh, oh no. Sam. <laughs> and for like a split second, I thought Trico had died or run away. And I was really sad. But then I remembered that was a dream. I had, oh, I had a dream like that about a and dragon. Recently. You you want to know the worst part about it? What? I had a stuffed Trico toy. No! Oh. So I saw it, and then it was... I saw I was like, Trico! And then I picked it up, and it was stuffed, and I was like... And then you realize oh. Pokemon aren't real. Damn. It was honestly heartbreaking to me, and I never dreamed since. <laughs> That's I, so I sad. stopped the practice. I've n- I haven't slept since that yeah. day. Since, speaking of dreams that like most people have, since Sam mentioned that, can I can I like confess something? Yeah. You know the oh, teeth okay. falling out dream? I've never had that. What the fuck is I've that? I've never had that either. Me neither. I've never had the one where like you show up naked or in your underwear to class or anything like that. Yeah, no, me I neither. have done that. I there really? was this <laughs> one where I was at a restaurant and I was like buck naked. And everyone was just oh, wait, at the table. I think table. you told me about this one, Brett. <laughs> yeah, it was at the Magic Time Machine, which I don't know if anyone yeah. remembers. But I was just like buck naked, and I was just at the table, and everyone was just like, hmm. Just like it's a casual thing, and like, oh, I, Luigi, please help me out here. I gotta I gotta get some pants Luigi, on. get my dick out of the pasta. I can't get my dick out of the pasta. Luigi, come on, help me out. Don't look at me like I'm a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just They're hid like, under the table. <laughs> and I was cool. just like, I guess this is what I'm doing now. I guess this is my life. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Those ones suck. Yeah, I bet. But yeah, I've never really had any of the like common dreams that everyone has. I'm like, I don't know, I don't. Yeah. Have y'all have y'all ever had a dream where you look like, were falling Ugh. and then you hit the ground? Yeah. Do you wake up? When I you heard hit the that's. I heard yeah. those dreams are given. I've had. I've had those, and I heard those are because like, your heart starts beating so slowly that your brain thinks you're dying, so it like does something to jolt you awake. I guess. Oh. Yeah. That's what I've heard. The reason is for those, but I don't know how much I believe them. Jesus. Because all so I know funny. is, man, my brain's a dick when it pulls that move. Yeah. Because I'm so damn close to falling asleep, and then it goes, "Hey, you still alive?" And yeah. I nearly shit the bed because it scares me so much. Did you, did you guys ever hear the story of my first concussion slash open head wound? Uh, I'm sure. I don't told know me, if I want to. It was. Uh, I had a dream like that. I was like, maybe in first grade or something. Um, and I was in bed, and at the time I had like a really short bookcase next to my bed. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember that bookcase. The basketball one. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Damn, I forgot that you, like, knew me back then. Jesus Christ. <laughs> wow. That you didn't used to live in Denton your whole life. Damn. Yeah. Uh, But, yeah, I had a dream well, that Brent's I was on a big ship. my living city. Yeah, Denton, Texas. <laughs> Find Sam in local stores in Denton. <laughs> Get his autograph. <laughs> but, oh, yeah. so I, I was on a ship, and I fell the fuck off. And I was, like, plummeting towards the water. And I hit the water... And I was suddenly on the floor of my actual, like, room. Um, and I didn't know what was happening. I was very disoriented because I had fallen off. And right here, the t- crown of my head fucking hit the corner of the bookshelf and split my head open. Oh, Jesus. And it gave me a concussion and, like, an, a bleeding wound. Uh, and my parents didn't take me to the hospital. 
Oh. I, I remember my parents having a conversation. I was, like, blinking in and out of reality. And I remember <laughs> my parents, like, should we go to the emergency room? And I remember my only thought being, we have an emergency room? Because I thought it was, like, a room in the house. <laughs> it's like a bunker. Like, we got to hide her. <laughs> yeah, I was, like, they were, like. Someone tried to kill you. I just remember them being like, should we take should we take him to the emergency room? And I was like, we got an emergency room? And then I woke up in my parents' bed, and it was like 1 p.m., and my dad had like gone to work, and my mom made me lunch, and I was like, what happened? And there was blood all over the pillow, and she was like, yeah, you hit your head. Oh, but See, they- my only experience with something like that is I was jolted awake, but I tend to sleep on my side. Hold on. Pause the recording. I'm getting a call. Oh. So Sam took the call, Sam and I talked about nonsense garbage for 10 minutes, and we got back to the show. Alright, let's get back to it. What were we... I don't know, we were talking about something. We were like 15 minutes, so let's just go on to the next thing. Whatever. How, Whatever. How, what's what's your thought like? You think it's a it's a long burn, or... My law is pretty short, so I could just do it in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, uh... Okay, so this one's pretty. This one's themed to what's been going on right now. Wait a second. <laughs> wait a second, Sam. The, the winter. Wait, Olympics. Sam. Wait, wait. <laughs> what? We were. What? I don't know how much of that you heard, but we were just talking about how I would go because mine's short. <laughs> oh wait. <laughs> I thought you said it was my turn for my thought. No, I was asking if yours was a was like a slow burn, like you had a lot, like we could talk about it a lot. I, we could talk a lot about it, I guess. So yeah, I guess yeah, Brett, you go ahead. We All talked right. a lot about my dream, which wasn't a dream. Yeah, I mean that was the longest segment we've had yet. <laughs> Maybe I did something right. In Florida, woman may be fined for falling asleep under a hair dryer, as can the salon owner. I understand the salon owner getting in trouble for that. Yeah, I feel like but that like, should have been the first thing they said. Right. Like, the salon owner, like, yeah, fucking, that's a safety hazard. But, like, the customer doesn't know. Okay. Yeah, well, it, they don't What situation don't are you that. in a salon and, like, the salon owner is, like, away long enough that you're just like, well, I could take a snooze. Well, Better so, have something warm on my face. Fucking, well, like, the salon owner... Because, like, you can be put under the dryer for 15 minutes. Like, mm-hmm. there have been times before where my stylist, like, finishes the haircut and is like, okay, before we straighten your hair, I'm going to put you under the dryer. Right? Yeah. And she works on another client during that time. So I'm there for 15 minutes. There have been times where I'm tired as fuck. It's possible. I kind of feel like when we're not sure where we want to find a... Sh- like, we're like, oh, shit, we got to find a law. We got to find a law. Florida's our go-to. Because, <laughs> like... And I, I don't mean to say we've used Florida a lot, because I think most of the time we do pretty good research, but Florida is, like, bound to have the strangest laws. Well, that's... Isn't that, like, Florida man? Yeah, like, that's where all that shit comes from. So, you know... Yeah, I guess that's true. They're a pretty crime-breaking state, and that's good for us. Uh, when I When I saw this thought... Up until three minutes ago, when you started explaining the situation, yeah, I thought it was a hair dryer, like that that you like plug into the wall and you just go. Vroom, oh yeah, like the gun. No, like. no, no. Uh, when you that's first, what I was thinking too. When you right? first started, that's what I was thinking too. When you first started reading it, until you said salon owner, I was expecting like the cops burst into someone's house and this girl's <laughs> falling asleep in her own bathroom with her own well, blow dryer, and they were the like, thing. get her. Here's the thing: if the salon owner's in your house, you know, no, it, I didn't it never think says sal- anything about being in a salon. That's true. You That's know? very true. But I thought before you said salon owner, I thought it was just the girl and her blow dryer, <laughs> yeah. just alone. And I was like, how the fuck do they know? <laughs> they come. Yeah. In, You're under arrest for falling asleep, and they're like, I did it. We we've been tracking you for three years. <laughs> well, also, like, have y'all seen that like strange addiction episode? Where it's like, this, this chick can't fall asleep unless she's got yes. a hair dryer on her hand. Yeah. That's the girl who lives in Austin, right? I think so. Thank, well, thank God she doesn't live in Florida. Yeah. Obviously, because she'd be the highest. She can't fall asleep unless there's a hair dryer going? Yeah. Yeah, like on her hand. That's a that's a fire hazard. It yeah, is. It sure up. is. And it, like, it's going all night. Yeah. It's, a, it's a like, yeah. Uh... 
But that's like that's what I imagined. <laughs> that's what I did too. And then you said Solano, and I was like, oh, all right, yeah. But I mean, we 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 could go on that, you know. And also, why is it why is it only the salon owner? It's like not any not of the, the stylist other, or anything. Not the stylists or anything. They can fall asleep in the hair dryers. That's fine. They yeah, they're all some good. Rest. Yeah, it's just the woman falling. Also, if it's a man, it doesn't count. Only if it's woman. <laughs> well, men don't dry their hair. I'm man. Uh, men don't have I'm long man. hair. <laughs> men Early don't do man. hair. Burly, no I use hair. hair dryer on my chest because I have hair on chest. <laughs> you saying you got an from chest? That's what, exactly what I'm saying. Train, trains on the trains on set. Welcome, train. Trains on set. Hi, I'm the Woo! hi, I'm the lead singer from Train, and I'm here, and I brought my untrimmed chest. Uh, I am so gangster. Are you thug? I am I so am thug. So gangster. You're, you're the only thing I'm thinking of. Uh, <laughs> anyway, anyway, <laughs> Sam, have you ever used a hair dryer like the, you know, the kind of like the bowl on your head? I have. Oh, really? How'd that go? <laughs> like, did you, did you have to get like M or something have to convince you to do it or something or what? Well, it was in third grade. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, oh, I mean, Greg is so particular about how he wants your hair. It was actually my idea, and my mom took it to, took me to get it done. Oh, well, you're very you're a very fashion look minded person, Sam. So I expect nothing less from you. Uh, and uh, so what I did was, I thought it would be cool in third grade to get my hair highlighted. I remember. I remember. <laughs> photos of sam with frosted tips oh my <laughs> they weren't frosted tips they were streaks of highlights they were they hair. were highlights and it was incredible i remember this concept i don't remember what he looked like it oh, was cool God. It, and by cool i mean it was amazing uh, if <laughs> it was awful after we record this we're gonna use all our assets available to try to find a picture of that we sure the fuck are not, we're gonna put it on facebook it's not it. it's not on facebook no bullshit because cause i've seen a photo of it on facebook it's my mom probably showed you pictures. There's dude, Facebook wasn't guys. Facebook wasn't around when I was in third grade. But Man, you can still post photos from before it, Facebook happened. No, it's impossible. I will literally walk to your mom's house and demand she show me photos of that. We're literally going to your mom's house after this. <laughs> but uh, so yeah, I had to sit in one of those hair dryer things for about an hour while the color set. Oh. And, Oh, okay. An hour? It was, and I was, it was like full on. I had like tin foil in my hair and everything. Yeah. Oh, dang! The whole, the whole nine yards. The whole shebang. Was it, was it relaxing enough that you almost fell asleep? It was pretty chill. Mm -hmm. I sat there and played my fucking Pokemon while I did. This is a very Sam plays Pokemon esque get uh, po uh episode. Well, we're talking about your childhood, so it's bound to happen. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. This isn't. This is. I still play Pokemon. This is a tangent. Sure. But Sam, do you remember like when we first met, and like we were really, really young, mm -hmm. and we would like go in your room and like make our own Pokemon spe like spinoffs. I do remember that. The Pokemon Damn. High School. No. Yeah, dude. The lockers, the <laughs> mailboxes. No, not that. Different. Like what? It's like we made our own yeah, we... Pokemon. Like we made new oh. Pokemon. Yeah, we would straight up make our own Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, dang. We had a book and everything. But yeah, there also was, I guess is Pokemon High School is what it's being called now. I didn't know it had that name. But when we were be Pokemon and the mailboxes would be our lockers. Well, I did yeah. film a lot of it and I, I tried to send and it to the And then we got banned from the mailbox. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. We got fucking banned from the mailbox. What an incredible time of our life. Here's the thing, y'all. Yeah. I, f I filmed y'all doing the Pokemon High School role play and I sent it to Nickelodeon and then three months later... New show, Degrassi. Bullshit. It's bull. They stole my idea. They they owe us money. We get royalties for that. Why did my phone vibrate? Well, if someone uh. texted you or something. I am I'm furious. We'll sue them later. Obviously. My phone vibrated. It's it's Nick Cannon. Oh, what's he got to say? CEO and owner of Nickelodeon as of like 2012. Not yeah. sure if he still is <laughs> or mean, not. 
Well, but he I, I was like at one confused. point, so he's calling me. Hello, Mr. Cannon? Oh, could you- Hey there, Cyan, it's me, Nick Cannon. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I guess that's what you sound like. Give I'm me glad, money. I'm glad you could Skype us, we, Nick. We, we heard you guys talking about Degra Degrassi, and we're taking you to a legal battle. What? But it was my idea, For the Nick. right to Degrassi. Why'd you divorce Mariah Carey? What? <laughs> Nick, don't avoid the Wait, question. Was Why Nick did Cannon you married to Mariah Carey? You should know, Nick. This is Sam, not Nick. Where'd Nick go? He hung up. Connection he's, dropped. Yeah, he's on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> he heard Nick Cannon was married to Mariah Carey. Yeah. He heard about Mariah Carey. He's like, I'm done. I'm moving on. <laughs> hang up. <laughs> okay, we're 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 edging close to the end of this 30 minute podcast again. I do. I do want to talk about my shower thought because I feel like we could, it could go one of two ways. We simply go, and that's it. That's the end. We're done. Or it could go off on a quite a big uh, spiel. Well, that's what we want. And don't worry, you're getting your shower thought. We're not going to be like, whoa, we ran out of time to put in the third part. <laughs> so bye. But please, I want to talk about it because Winter Olympics are cool. All right. Uh, yeah, let's let's just go for it. Also, we went from the law to Degrassi, and I don't remember how we connected those two. Uh, a simple hair but, blower, hair dryer. Right. But so, this Winter Olympics thought is... The Winter Olympics are just several variations of sliding. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Snowboarding, slide downhill, skiing, slide downhill, but with two sticks... Figure skating, um, horizontal sliding. Horizontal sl sliding on a flat playing field while dancing. Um, um, the big jump. Hockey. Hockey, horizontal skate, horizontal sliding, but while beating up people. Here, Here's the um, thing, man. Humans, we just love to slide so much. Dude, do you remember? Curling. I was talking about this shit the fucking other day. Do you remember when, like, the thing, or like, oh, you can... You can't slide on carpet like you can on wood floors. So they made the fucking like thing that you can put on your feet and slide on carpet. Yeah. Do you fucking remember those shoes? No. <laughs> I do. Remember. You don't fucking remember those? I don't know what I, you're no, I do. About. I do. Sam does. <laughs> it was like these little things that you put on your shoes and you can slide on carpet like you can on wood floors and socks. It was fucking lit. They're like just what? It's literally just like plastic you tape to the bottom of your feet. <laughs> yeah, they're like twenty dollars. <laughs> And you tape them, you, you just fucking strap them to your feet, and you slide around on carpet. And it was, my cousin had them, and it was lit. Oh my god. <laughs> Where are they now? Do you remember out moon of shoes? Like, out of business? Like, moon shoes! The biggest fucking disappointment <laughs> of everyone's life. How, how do you make moon shoes a product designed to make you jump higher and make it harder to jump? <laughs> it is so hard to jump. I propose to you a new thing. Ugh. The Moon Shoe Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the hardest shit in the world. It's just a bunch of people falling over themselves. <laughs> and like breaking the elastic and like hurting their ankle. <laughs> no, well, you wait have a second. Pit crews on the, like, tra for the track and field ones, you have to have pit crews in case the fucking bands break. Jesus oh, Christ. yeah, dude. Uh, I mean, these are these are professional grade moon shoes. Obviously, no, they still work as cr they're still as crappy no, as moon no, shoes. They're, no, they're just they're regular moon grade. Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> you have to, you have to, before you start the event, you literally have to like take them out of the box and like put them together. Yeah, like oh, this sucks. Yeah. This is adding to my time. That's part of the event. Yeah, it's like track and field. Like three, two, one, start, and then everyone like gets their box cutters and like, all right, I, oh, this sucks. I wish we could just not add this to the time. And then eventually one of them starts running, maybe. I remember getting moon shoes when I was a kid. And I was like, yeah, surely this will work. I'm like a very, I was a very tiny kid. And I was like, hell yeah. And I got on it and I broke like two elastics. Yeah. And I was like, what? Cool. I tried jumping around and it just didn't work. How did, <laughs> moon shoes are the biggest fucking disappointment of like 2008. I, like no lie. I don't think. In my life, yeah. I've ever seen a completely unbroken pair of moon shoes. <laughs> it's yeah. always had at least one thing, like, dangling off it. And it, it sucks. Okay. 
I do have to say, so this one shower thought raises something that would be fixed by the Moon Shoe Olympics. Okay. <clears throat> so, the Olympic events can be really short. <laughs> like, really fucking short. Okay. Except for maybe, like, hockey, because that's a full, like, you got three periods and it's a timed game. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, curling, and that's kind of a thing. But all the other ones are... This shower thought says, A majority of Olympic sports involve people doing the activity they love most in the world for the least amount of time. Hmm. So, yeah, I, I mean, I could see that. All Most of these things are just go three times max and then that's it. So, that means moon shoes will force them to be slower and we will get more for our money for watching these events. <laughs> True as fuck. If look, y'all, if you want to just extend the Olympic Games, we can find a bunch of stuff to do that. We can just put obstacles on the track and field. Thing. No, I think moon shoes are the best way to go. I think yeah, I think, moon shoes are the best way to go. All right, I propose moon shoes, Olympic Games, guts influence. Yes. Oh, like shit. we have slime pits. Like right, we have like bungees. Brett, I need you to hear me out on this one. Oh, I, I know the, the aggro cracks who... coming, Sam. Give it to me. Yeah. The person who wins the most gold medals, no matter what event, gets a chance at the aggro crag for the ultimate Olympic gold. Oh, my God. Damn. They get If they make it all the way to the top of the aggro crag, they take home a piece of the crag, and then they also take home the torch that was used to light the Olympics this year. Oh, oh dang. Fuck. Okay. Oh my, do they even take a gold medal? Yeah, the aggro crag piece is gold. Well, that's pretty sick. And they take the d- dang dude. That's 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 some big stuff right there. That's big money. I mm-hmm. I, I I also love this because in the Olympics, <laughs> I, I mean, if I remember correctly, there's not really a climbing based sport, right? Uh, I think I would like to say that maybe swimmers have the best chance at it. All right, I could see that. But I feel like. They'd be a little out of their element. Out of water. Because they're not wet. Rather than down. Yeah. They're not all wet and slippery. Well, unless they get slimed. Yeah. Right? Because then, of course, one of the Well, if they get slimed, then they're clearly not worth going up the aggro crag. Because that means they lost something. Well, I mean, the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, the winners get slimed. Yeah. You know? Slime can be in a good or a bad connotation. You can be like, man, I got slimed at work today. Or you could be like, dude, at work, I got slimed. It, it just depends on like what me. the context is, you know? I I mean, like there's... I guess just please don't ever say, like, I don't ever want to hear someone sadly say, I got slimed. <laughs> man, I got slimed. I today. got slimed again. Slimed again on this one. <laughs> but I love it because there's not there's not like a mountain hiking, climbing sport. So everyone's kind of on equal ground when it comes to the aggro crack, right? Yeah. And then, you know, there are people, oh, the losers of the events are the ones that get to throw the boulders down the aggro crack. Ooh. Oh, my God. So they got Oh, no, vengeance. the shot putters. Oh, my God. Damn. <laughs> the shot putters would all purposely, like, try not to, like, okay, Shot putters don't really do do many other events besides like shot put and maybe like javelin throw or anything or and stuff like that. So they don't really have a chance to win the most gold medals. So I think this chance at the aggro crag would encourage Olympians to branch out into like to try and win as many golds as they possibly can. Uh-huh. They would introduce themselves to other sports, making them generally more well-rounded athletes yeah. instead of just focusing on something. And but for the first couple games, the shot putters would not be very high up on the winnings so they'd be the ones throwing the boulders a lot and i do not want to get hit by a boulder that's tossed by a shot putter yeah that's a that's a professionally thrown missile. regardless of it's a, if it's a real boulder or a styrofoam b- boulder my nose is getting broken so i'm sorry but did we just come up with like how to end like unhealthy children because if you put fucking like once every couple like months or like once a semester there is like the school agri crag. Everyone fucking wants it. Oh shit. Everyone wants it. Dude. Oh, Everyone's shit. climbing that fucking mountain. Pe- kids are training at home. Yeah. Straight up. Dude, if at elementary school, if there was a fucking like guts tournament at our oh, elementary school. Dude. Oh man. You know it would get crazy. I would fucking I would 
Yeah, I would be a different. I would have a different build right now as a nineteen year old. Uh, sorry, we kind of just solved child obesity and unhealthiness. Yeah, mainly unhealthiness. You can be health. You can be fat and still be healthy. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I do want to talk about one thing. You, you're saying the aggro crag, like maybe the top three people with the most medals get to climb the aggro crag. What would you think about an idea where everyone who gets a gold climbs the aggro crag from every single event? So there are like there are, I don't know how many events are there are like forty six people trying to climb the aggro crag at one time. Jesus Christ! And of course it's like mm. a modified like bigger aggro crag, but it's still like chaos. Yeah. Well, what I what I liked about like only the top three people like get to do it is that it motivates you to mm. learn like every single sport. It like motivates yeah, you it moti- to it do so much you more. To try and win. It's not it's not climbing the mountain. That's the exercise. It's being able to get to the status to be able to climb the mountain. Okay. Because everyone yeah, wants to be able it. To claim. Mm-hmm. In order to get there, you have to do all the steps down here. And that's how we're ending childhood pain. Un- unhealth. Exactly. Unhealth. Dishealth. <laughs> There's got to be a better word for not healthy. I mean, I almost said hunger. And that... Because <laughs> I just couldn't think no, of a word. Well, no. maybe if the aggro crag is like edible and we can send it over. Now we're dipping into some Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and I really don't want him at the Olympics. Dude, Willy Wonka. Like, Dude, the bo- running the Olympics. Willy Wonka book two. <laughs> Willy Wonka wins a gold. I think we're getting <laughs> so far off topic now. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, you know what? We're we're probably we're probably good. Uh, let's just. Let's end it here on a hot, on a on a hot note. On a hot, hot, steamy, Nickelodeon slimy note. Th- thanks, to, thanks to the audience, the whole audience for seeing this live show. Uh, thank you, Chip Skylark. Uh, thank you, Miss Shaskins. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Jimmy. Jimmy was here the whole time, but we. Like, you just couldn't hear him. He's in the audience. So, yeah, this episode is actually sponsored by Nickelodeon. Go watch them. They paid us a lot of money to do this Nickelodeon-themed episode. Even though we did dunk on them a couple times with the Degrassi thing, but... Yeah, well, it's all in good fun. Ha, ha, ha. Join me and my sweaty, sweaty, slimy boys. Ah. In in the Nickelodeon-sponsored Thought Sauna. (laughs) Please bring a towel. Please, for the love of God, bring a towel. (laughs) All right, Jesus Christ. Cut it. I think. All right, we're done.